Well, the last time you saw my back lawn, it looked like this. And today, 11 days later, it looks like this. Not too bad. G'day and welcome to a new video. Yeah, it is 11 days post renovation and going really, really well out here on this back lawn. We've just come out of a heat wave. I've been getting the water on it to keep it nice and hydrated and keep it recovering. And it's time to start mowing. So without cherry picking a spot that's grown in really well, we're up around 50, 60 mil. And something you will notice with this grass at the moment is that it's just pointing and growing straight up. So we wanna mow it, we wanna push it over, and we wanna encourage that nice lateral spread to continue to fill in this lawn, make it spread, fully recover, and just speed up that whole process and get into some really good mowing practices. So this video today and what it's gonna be all about is showing you my practices over about the next seven to eight days of taking it from this amount of coverage, I'll probably call it about 80, 85% coverage, uh, maybe a little bit less, taking it from this and cutting it down from about 60 or so mil cylinder mode at around about this time next week hopefully 12 mil which is about my goal height maybe it'll still be 14 we'll see how we go but showing you what to do and what to look out for post renovation so if you've watched a few of my videos or seen a bit of my content you know that i like to do fancy patterns uh, and that's where i get a lot of enjoyment in lawn care when you first start mowing after a lawn renovation it's not about fancy patterns and yeah trampling all of your lawn too much it's about getting on there getting a quick cut done and getting back off again. Now, something that I have done this morning is my watering cycle at 5 a.m. and the lawn is still damp. That is something that you want to do is lightly water your lawn beforehand if it's not already damp, just to settle down that sand, whatever it may be that you have top dressed with because you don't wanna be sucking it up and displacing it a lot. So I'm about to use my Ryobi battery mower. Um, there is a high power mode and there's like an eco sort of mode. So I'm gonna use it on that eco mode. Whatever you're using, lower your revs down a little bit so you're not gonna be absolutely destroying it. Just clipping off the top of the leaf. This is probably not too bad to mulch it. I'm pretty happy to mulch this today. If it has gotten a lot longer then you might wanna do a cut first where you do collect your clippings. But look, these clippings right here, this beautiful, nice green color, super, super healthy, lots of nutrients in there. So to mulch that back down into, uh, into the lawn is exactly what I want. Get a bit more coverage over some of these bare areas of sand just to, um, yeah, to mulch it a little bit. And yeah, look, just really looking forward to getting a cut done. Now this area is unrenovated due to my ongoing veggie garden build over my shoulder here. Um, but I have sharpened the blades on this mower. I hadn't done it yet in the six months that I'd owned this mower, so it was overdue. And yeah, you can see at the back here, hopefully that, that mulching plug is in. So that is just gonna be spinning around under there, putting those clippings back down onto the ground and giving it a bit of extra nutrition, I guess. So let's chuck a bit of music on and just do it. Geez, that was one of my favorite mows for a while, I think. I was away on the weekend, my wife and I, for my best mate's wedding, which was beautiful, fantastic. But you come home, kids have missed you, you've missed them, they're extra emotional. Social battery's a bit drained, and so just, yeah, to be out here today, put some headphones on, cut some grass, bloody feels good. The height of cut that I had on there, on that Ryobi, was 25 mil, uh, as low as it goes. I was being really careful um, to, as soon as I finish my run, lift the mower up, spin it around, be really careful. And if I did scuff up any little spots, just make an effort to, to touch them back up. But yeah, um, the lawn was fairly long and I was cutting off about half the leaf there, maybe a little bit less, which is too much for a single mow, but it is what it is at this time of year. 
uh, during these sorts of renovations. And yeah, I haven't got massive clumps of clippings. I've got little bits here and there in the areas where the lawn was the longest, but I've got no issues with that at this point in time. So overall, it looks really good. And yeah, when you pan across out there, oh, you can see my time lapse that I've got set up that's been going the whole recovery. That's gonna be fun to watch. Uh, but yeah, you can see here, when you're standing on top of it, it looks a lot worse than when you scan across the yard. And you know, in 11 days, some parts were buried in sand and they're now about 60 mil. So it is sort of growing, you know, six or so mil a day, which when I wanna be cutting at about 12, it's a lot of growth at the moment. And you know, really, really good advice post renovation is to get your first couple done, at least with the rotary mower, just get on, get off. Don't put your cylinder mower on it, um, you know, for risk of blunting that cutting reel and getting sand stuck in there. But yeah, I don't know. I just. I just don't think I'll really be able to help myself. I think there's a fair chance the next clip will be a cylinder cut on here, so I'll catch up tomorrow or in the next few days. Yep, cylinder mower it is. I've got the Mow Master catcher off. I've set this to 18 mils. Um, it's been a frustrating day today. We've had, it was meant to be just a couple of passing showers and it pretty much rained all day up until a few hours ago and then we've had a little couple of sunny breaks but it's pretty well dried out nicely on top of the leaf um, and the actual sand is still quite damp so fine to mow i've done a couple of perimeter passes already um, so yeah i'm going to be on my turns turning super super lightly and that's going to help having a little bit less weight without a catcher full of grass on there for today so again mulching it up getting it back onto the grass yeah 18 mil, so I'll be cutting around about every two days, really, and gradually dropping that height of cut. But look, 18 mil, let's put some stripes on here. Looking forward to it. Well, that is a double cut at 16 millimeters. And so, yeah, it's coming up quite nicely. I've obviously come across with the cart here and just any tiny little low spots or bumps that I found along the way, I've just topped them up. And I think that's something really, really important to do post renovation to really get your best bang for buck. I said in my renovation video that I, you know, that's the last time I'm gonna need to go that heavy, five cubes on 500 square meters. My future renovations, unless it is to do with drainage and I'll see throughout this winter, but you know, future years, I can go four cube um, and over time, less and less, the more level this lawn gets. Although the kids will probably get older then and be running around playing footy and making all kinds of mess on here. So we'll see what happens in years to come with that. But yeah, especially once you do start mowing with the cylinder mower, um, any really long bits of grass, they are hard to cut. They will get stuck under that front roller. So, you know, double cutting, triple cutting, regularly cutting because it's so healthy right now. It's getting so much water. 
nice sun um, in this early, early autumn period. Um, lots of low 30 degree days. The next three or so days are gonna be fantastic. So yeah, I'm still watering. I didn't water yesterday, um, but yeah, I'm keeping the water on it, mowing regularly. At the moment, I've got planned ahead to still be mowing every two days. Um, and then you know, I might even need to get to a point once it's all filled in, where I've got to use some um, plant growth regulator, but obviously the weather's going to cool down and slow growth as well. So, so yeah, that was 16 mil. Uh, next cut will be, if all goes to plan in two days time, 14 mil. And um, yeah, it's just bloody recovering so well. This is two weeks today, post renovation. This was buried in sand two weeks ago. So the late summer renovation, um, can't speak more highly of it, I think. It's, uh, it's going well. Five days since that first mow with the rotary mower. Two days since that cut at 14 millimeters, sorry, 16 millimeters. I've now got the mower set at 14. I've still got the catcher off because it just seems a bit easier. I'm in a bit of a rush before my wife heads out for the afternoon. So hopefully gonna get a double cut done. Um, and then after that will be two days time and about two days time you should be seeing hopefully down to that 12 millimeter cut. So. Let's get it going. It is eight days since this video started, and geez, the progress in that time has been fantastic. Have a look at this coverage, have a look at this beautiful color. It is just it's progressing very, very well. This spot here, you can see quite dense and nice. There's still sand exposed there. Come over here a tiny bit, and there's a bit more sand there. My normal watering schedule out here is twice a week for 30 minutes per zone. I have just set it last night to 20 minutes every second day. So that averages to about 70 minutes a week instead of 60. So slightly elevated for now, but 100% full coverage is not far away. Now, yesterday I came out and just gave it a very quick single cut because that's what I had time for because I was doing a renovation on that little project patch, which is the next video I'm gonna upload on Sunday, 7 a.m. But today it's time to get that mower down to 12 mil give it a cut, double cut. And yeah, look, there's been a lot of uh, mowing edits in this video, but hopefully you're enjoying them. So one more mowing edit for this video. Let's get into it. too bad not looking too bad and look to keep it pretty brief i can 100 percent see the appeal of that shorter cut nice tight turf it does look really good you know you look out and it's just that that carpet really nice looking grass it's you know got to be 95 percent coverage now so the more it fills in and thickens up in the good sort of way not the thatchy thick um it's just gonna look better and better i think something i found with that mo is that especially when I went straight up and down, and this comes because I've been cutting on so many different angles, 
every single cut and every single time I've gone a different direction I've probably gone over each pattern twice or something like that so it, it, it was and especially with the bright sun from side on when I was doing that pattern mostly yeah just a bit hard to, to follow where I was going and that you know looking out it looks like beautiful green grass I'm just not sure how I'm gonna go with it whether I'm gonna really love it I am gonna try some patterns some you know, some double checkers or some single double checkers or something, um, just to see how it goes and how I can burn it in with that 200 kilo mower and hopefully get some patterns looking really, really nice. But I'm just aware that, you know, previously, um, and I've always said it and I've always found it, that a lot of my enjoyment comes from seeing beautiful stripes and patterns. So anyway, um, it's gonna be plenty of content about this and YouTube videos to come. We'll see how it goes in the future, how I feel about it and when, if ever, perhaps, that height of cut maybe comes back up to 20 or 25 mil. So anyway, hope this has been an enjoyable video to watch. I've enjoyed making it. Um, hopefully it comes together nice on the final edit. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Hmm, pretty, pretty bloody tight. Yeah, that's bloody nice. That is nice.